So this computer just got an Excel update that might make it as good as this one. Let's find out. All right, so here we are in the Mac version of Excel, and Microsoft recently announced this new key tips feature for the Mac version. Now the Windows version has had this feature for a long time, but it's really great to see this come to the Mac because it unlocks a lot of new keyboard shortcuts for Mac users. So in this video, I'm gonna explain how to use this new feature along with some current limitations to be aware of. I'll also show how to create custom shortcuts, including one for paste values. And at the end of the video, I'll share my thoughts on if this feature is good enough to make the switch from Windows to Mac. All right, so let's take a look at how to use the key tips feature. The first thing you'll do is press and release the option key on the keyboard. Now this could also be the alt key. On Windows, it is the alt key, but on Mac, you'll typically see the option key on the keyboard. Now, if you are a Windows user, a lot of the shortcuts that I share in this video will also work on Windows by pressing the alt key, but here we're gonna press and release option. And when we do that, we'll see all of these letters here up here on the ribbon. And pressing any of those letters, I'll go ahead and press H, that will show all of the shortcuts for the buttons on the home tab of the ribbon. So one popular one here might be increasing or decreasing decimal places, which is either zero or nine. So in this column right here, let's go ahead and select this column and hold or use control space to select the entire column. Then I'm gonna do option H and then I'll do nine to decrease the decimal place. I can do that again, option H nine, and that will decrease the decimal places. If you want to add those back, option H zero one time, option H zero again to add those decimal places back. And I should note that at the time of this recording, this key tips feature is still in beta. If you want to get on the beta version of Excel, you can go under help, check for updates, and then in this uh, window, go to advanced, and here you can see I'm on the beta channel. Now these features are often flighted, which means not all users on the beta channel get these features right away. Sometimes Microsoft turns them on and off. So if you still don't see the feature yet, know it's probably coming soon. And unfortunately, you just gotta be a bit patient with these features in beta. Another popular key tip that I used almost every day is for grid lines. So on this sheet here, I have some charts and slicers and shapes. And whenever I have those, I like to hide the grid lines or turn the grid lines off on the sheet for a cleaner look. So the keyboard shortcut for that is going to be Option and then W for the View tab. And here's the Grid Lines button or checkbox, which is VG. So Alt W V G will toggle grid lines off. And again, nice clean look there. If you want to toggle those back, it's the same thing, Alt W V G. Just a quick toggle to toggle those on and off. I just want to take a quick pause and say that if you're new to our channel, welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and our goal here at Excel Campus is to help you elevate your Excel skills so you can save time with your job and advance in your career. We have a free Excel Pro Tips newsletter that will help you drastically improve your Excel skills in just 10 minutes a week. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get signed up for that for free. And now let's get back to the video. Next, we're gonna talk about one limitation of the key tips feature on Mac. One of the most popular key tips is for auto-fitting columns. And to do that, here I'm just gonna select this column. We wanna auto-fit it so we can see all the contents of the column. Now on the Windows version, this key tip would be Alt-H-O-I. On Mac, we press Option-H-O, that's going to drop or open the format dropdown here. We can see the format dropdown. On the Windows version, we'd have an I underlined here under auto fit. There'd be an I underlined here and we could press that in order to essentially press this button. As you'll notice on the Mac version, there are no underlined letters here, at least not yet. Hopefully this will be coming in the future because it'd be great to be able to do this. So right now we can't use option HOI. Essentially we can use option HO, which will get us to this menu here. And then we can use the arrow key. So I'm pressing the down arrow key, that'd be uh, four times and hit enter. And then that will do the auto fit. So just a little quick, a bit of a limitation there, but hopefully this will be fixed in the future. And if you're thinking, how am I gonna learn or remember all of these shortcuts? Well, we do have a resource for you at excelcampus.com slash shortcuts. I'll put a link to this page in the description below. And essentially this page has over 270 Excel shortcuts listed on it for Windows, Mac, and the web versions of Excel. We also have a downloadable PDF. You can click here to download a PDF version of that. And this will help you learn shortcuts and also find them whenever you need them. Next, we're gonna take a look at how to create custom keyboard shortcuts with the new key tips feature. 
So a few months back, Microsoft announced a new keyboard shortcut to paste values, which is Control Shift V. Now that shortcut only works on Windows right now. It does not work on the Mac version of Excel yet. However, we can use key tips to add or create a custom keyboard shortcut to paste values. So let's take a look at how to set it up. The first thing we're gonna do is go up here to the quick access toolbar and we're gonna click this little three dot menu and go to more commands. That's gonna open up this window here under quick access toolbar. We're going to choose all commands and then we wanna find paste values. So we can just click in here and hit the P on the keyboard. That's gonna jump us down to the, the P's and then we will find, uh, scroll down until we find paste values. Here it is right here. Then I'm just gonna add it over to my quick access toolbar. And in this case, I'm actually gonna move it up to the top. Just drag and drop it up to the first position here on the quick access toolbar. We'll go ahead and hit save and close here. And now we can see we have the paste values button right here. And if you're not familiar with what paste values does, essentially, let's go ahead and copy, or I'm gonna select this entire range here. I'm gonna hit control C to copy. And over here, I just want to paste the values only. I don't wanna paste any of this formatting here, just the values. And I also don't wanna paste the formulas. So I just wanna paste values. So in order to do that, of course, I could just click this button right here. But now that we have key tips, I'm gonna press and release option. And you can see that the shortcut here is the number one. So I'm just gonna hit one on the keyboard and that's going to paste values. Now, if you're familiar with this uh, shortcut on the Windows version of Excel, essentially Alt uh, will open up or allow us to see all of these shortcuts. On Windows, you can hold the Alt key and then press the number. On the Mac version, you need to release the Option key before pressing the number. Just know that. So it's uh, press and release Option or Alt and then hit one. And of course, that will paste values. And you can also change the order here so we can go back to more commands. If you wanted that to be option two instead, you could just move this down and then that shortcut becomes option two. Now one just slight drawback here with this key tip in the quick access toolbar, if you use someone else's Mac, they might not have it set up like this. So if you become really familiar with using option one or option two to paste values, and then you go use someone else's computer, that shortcut might not be set up and might not work for you. And since we're on the topic of custom keyboard shortcuts, I should also note that the Mac version of Excel under the tools menu has this customized keyboard option, which allows you to create custom keyboard shortcuts for a lot of the commands on the ribbon. Not all the commands like paste values isn't here, but there are a lot of the commands on the ribbon where you can create uh, keyboard shortcuts for them. I'll leave that for a separate video. So leave a comment below if you're interested in learning more about this feature and I'll do a separate video on it. And lastly, I wanna talk about if this key tips feature is worthy enough to make the switch from Windows to Mac. As a Windows user, a long time Windows user, I've always hesitated to switch to Mac for a few reasons. There's several limitations that the Mac version has compared to the Windows version. And one of those honestly was key tips and these alt sequence or option sequence keyboard shortcuts that can really make us a lot more efficient and get our work done faster in Excel. Now that the Mac version has these, it does make the Mac version a lot more appealing to me. With that said, the Mac version is still a bit limited with Power Query. If we look at the data tab of the ribbon here, uh, Power Query is available for the Mac. The number of connectors we have currently is a bit limited and hopefully that will change in the future. The Mac version also does not have Power Pivot. And if we go into VBA, the developer tab here and into the Visual Basic Editor, there are some limitations here, including the uh, limitation or the uh, support, the lack of support for user forms. So with all of that said, if you don't need those features, those are kind of pro level features. And if you don't need those, I do think that this update for the Mac version of Excel is pretty significant. And I know a lot of Mac users have been waiting for key tips for a long time. So I'm really excited that they're here. Uh, in the future, I might be making more videos on the Mac version of Excel. So leave a comment below this video if you're interested in that, and we'll definitely have more content on the Mac version. So if you're a Mac user, or you've been thinking about switching to a Mac, I'm curious to know if you're excited about this new update. Leave a comment below and let us know. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you wanna learn some more time-saving Excel shortcuts, then check out this video next. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.